Hi, this is Coach Laura, and I'm going to quickly talk about routine timing during competition. Routine timing uh, applies to beam and floor only, uh, and the maximum time that a gymnast is allowed on the beam or on the floor depends by their level, and you will be provided with timing information for each level and a stopwatch at the meet. So you will have that information on hand if you need it. A beam routine needs to start being timed when the gymnast leaves the floor. If the gymnast falls during the routine, you need to stop the timer and then start the timer again when they remount. As they reach the end of the routine and their maximum time is getting close, you need to give them a 10 second warning and say warning out loud. And then you need to say time out loud if that max time is reached. Or you can stop your stopwatch when their feet hit the floor, whatever happens first. If the maximum time is reached, you need to show the judge the time on your stopwatch. For floor, you start your stopwatch when the gymnast starts moving, not necessarily when the music starts, that could be at different times. Start when the gymnast starts moving and then end and stop your stopwatch at the end of the routine when the music and the gymnast should stop moving at the same time. If the maximum time is exceeded, make sure that you show the judge the stopwatch before you clear it. Thanks.